Welcome everyone to Trinity High School Basketball here on the Trinity YouTube channel. I'm Wayne Krause along with Dave Aberly. We are at Steinhauser Gymnasium. Rock's going to be taking on Fern Creek tonight. Uh, should be a whale of a basketball game, Dave. Uh, Fern Creek, always a, a quality team uh, here just down the road, if you will. Oh, just very, very excited to be back with you again, Wayne. And uh, excited about this team and this season. Uh, there's so many good teams in the seventh region this year. But I, I feel like we have a great shot of going back to the Sweet 16. Dave, you read my mind. That was the first thing I was going to start with, how we always talk you know, all season long about how sometimes just getting out of the seventh region is more difficult than actually you know, winning the thing at Rupp Arena. Right. Uh, Rocks have won a couple of state championships, but they, they, they have the pieces of the puzzle necessary on this year's team uh, to make hopefully a run. I really feel good about this team. Yeah, absolutely. Off to a good start. We're 3-1. and one. Uh, We beat a great DeSales team. Uh, who's going to challenge for their the region and at their at place. The sales, yeah. Right. Uh, beat Barstown and Atherton. Uh, lost to Mayo uh, at Mayo, 52-55, uh, seven-point loss. Uh, but then we come back tonight with Fern Creek, who's a very good team. Fern Creek, a very good basketball team. You'll hear from Coach Mike Zabo uh, here shortly, a little bit about the Fern Creek team. But, um, you know, night in and night out in Jefferson County, you're going to get quality basketball games. Jason Larch and I talk about it on the, you know, the football side. Right. What better way to spend your, your evening uh, than watching high school football? Same goes for this Trinity basketball team. Come out to Steinhauser Gym or when they're on the road and, and support these rocks because uh, it is just a fun night out of high school basketball. It is. It's great. And, you know, before we came on the air tonight, I was just looking at Trinity's schedule. It's a very challenging schedule this year. Uh, we're in some great tournaments over Christmas. Uh, they need to send us to some of those, by the way. That'd be nice. You know, anyone in like a warmer climate, sure. you know you know what I'm saying? Uh -huh. uh, but we got Ballard back on the schedule this year. Um, you know, Lexington Catholic. I mean, it's just up and down the line that we're playing good teams this year. So it, it's going to make us a well, better. I know now, correct me if I'm wrong, you haven't seen the Rocks play yet this year, correct? No, I haven't in person. Because I, I did come to the, the Bartstown game. And it started off, it was you know pretty back and forth game for a quarter. And then the Rocks just started playing downhill. I mean, they looked really, really solid. Um, I'm hoping to see a lot more of the same tonight uh, here at Steinhauser Gym because uh, when this team is is clicking, they're they're a very Sounds quality good basketball. To me. Team. We're going to go ahead and take a break. When we come back again, we will have Coach Mike Zabo's comments, and we're about eight minutes away from tip off. So uh, don't go anywhere, folks. You're watching Trinity High School basketball on the Trinity YouTube channel. Welcome back to Trinity High School basketball. I'm talking now with Trinity head coach Mike Zabo. Coach, our first broadcast of this uh, young season. Uh, Rocks off to a pretty good start. Got a big, big win against the sales in overtime. Lost a tough one at Mail. Uh, then he won the next couple. Talk about those first few games that uh, we haven't uh, seen yet. Yeah, no, it's been good. Guys are working hard every day, and uh, our schedule is excellent. Good competition. Really. It's been challenging, uh, and that's that's what we need. That's what we want. Um, so I'm proud of our guys. Our guys are working hard, and it looks like they're having some fun doing it. Trinity always one of the tough teams in the seventh region. This year, you got a number of guys back, but you also have a couple of uh, transfers. Just a little different feel. How are they uh, gelling? I guess is maybe a good question to start. With. Very well. Yeah, they're both really good guys, and they fit in great. Uh, our team really likes them. I think those guys uh, enjoy their new teammates and the coaching staff, and, uh, and they work hard too. So. Yeah. Let's talk a little bit about Dre Vassar, probably the biggest um, uh, returning guy that's really a senior leader on the team. Yeah. The ball's in his hands a lot. You know, he had 40 points uh, in one game earlier this season. Uh, how important he, is he to this program? Oh, he's very important. He's very important. You know, he kind of does it all, which is exactly what's needed. Uh, we need a senior leader that can impact the game uh, at every level. Defensively, offensively, leadership, uh, in every area, he will impact our team and our season. Let's talk about our opponent tonight, Fern Creek. Uh, always an athletic team, always a very competitive team. What are they going to bring to the court here at Steinhauser Gym, and what are we going to have to do? Yeah, very quickness. Yeah, they're very, very quick. I expect a lot of uh, trapping, just guys flying around trying to create a mess. We we've got to be we've got to be under control. Have great composure tonight. Um, don't get sped up. Pass fakes. Um, yeah, and just you know handle it. Handle it with confidence. Make them pay for 
for the way that they're playing us. Um, so, yeah, they're a good team. They're quick. They're athletic. So we have to do a great job. All right, hopefully we're a little more so. Yes. Uh, good luck tonight, Mike. That Thanks. was Coach Mike Zabo's comments. Folks, we're going to be right back with tonight's starting lineups. Don't go anywhere. You're watching Trinity High School Basketball on the Trinity High School YouTube channel.
Welcome back, everyone, to Trinity High School Basketball here on the Trinity YouTube channel. I'm Wayne Krause along with Dave Aberly. Dave, just a couple of seconds here, actually, before we have to uh, take a break and then get to the starting lineups. But uh, key to victory for the Rocks, um, basically you got to well, be better than Fern Creek is at their own game, I think. Yeah, I mean, you know, we got to control their control the tempo of the game, I think, would be because uh, they're going to want to get out and run up and down the floor, you know. Well, and the Rocks are not scared to do that. No, uh, and we're very capable of doing that. And uh, But the Rocks should play a little bit bigger than, than Fern Creek. They, right. they got a little bit of a height advantage. And I'll be honest, I don't think that uh, – I, I think up and down the score sheet, Trinity's going to have an advantage over Fern Creek. Um, well, just, you know, it's their game. It's, it's You've watched Mike Zabel's teams for a long time, and you know that uh, every game is keyed on the defense, how well we play the defense. We're going to go ahead and take a break while we have the uh, – Oh, actually, we're not going to take a break yet. we got something else going on here at uh, midcourt. Ladies and gentlemen, please direct your attention to midcourt for a Trinity Director of Athletics, Rob Saxton. This is what uh, I didn't know that this was going on either, Dave. So. A special presentation. James Tora, or as everyone knows him by JT, served Trinity basketball as an assistant. They're basically recognizing JT years. Tora for his time uh, with the Trinity basketball team, which has been about 15 years or so, and he stepped away from it to work in the advancement office. And let me tell you something. JT could have gone a long time ago and been a head coach anywhere, and he chose to stuck with Mike in Trinity. Love the guy. He's, he's a great, great guy, and uh, he is kind of the face of Trinity in a lot of ways. I mean, he's, he's one of those people that um, you know, everybody knows, hey, that's a Trinity guy. He's, he's one of the people that's out there in the He's a lifer now. Everything else. I'm sorry? Yeah. He came to Trinity, and Trinity, he's part of Trinity now. So, uh, again, congratulations to JT Tour. He's being presented. <laughs> Coach, uh, Coach Saxon has flowers and a... In a uh, I'm hoping you can hear Mike Giedig in the Even PA. Even though stepping away from the basketball world, JT continues to serve as the school's vice president of advancement and director of admissions. Joining JT at center court are his wife, Leandra, and his children, Tenley and Raylan, both of whom attend St. Albert the Great. You know, it wouldn't have been too bad to tell the broadcast team what was going to happen. You, know, you, you, know. Didn't, you didn't have to keep it a secret from us. Right. <laughs> That's well deserved. Get a, a picture taken there at midcourt. His family's getting big. <laughs> Hey, we might be in the background of this picture, Dave. Hey, we <laughs> can photobomb it. So JT and, and Mike have been a team, you know, for a long time, 20-some-odd years. You know, I mean, that's a, that's a heck of a working relationship. Take a quick moment here to uh, congratulate the swim team. They won uh, an invitation up at Scott High School. And congrats to the U of L women's volleyball. They fell in five sets, but uh, what a great season for them as well. We're going to go ahead and uh, quiet ourselves down for the national anthem. Be back with the starting lineups here in just a moment. You're watching Trinity High School basketball on the Trinity YouTube channel.
We will turn it over to the Trinity Public Address announcer, Mike Giedig, with tonight's starting lineups. Our thanks to Mike Giedig, our public address announcer for tonight's starting lineups. We've got Gary Owens working the clock, Lee Handel doing the uh, scorebook, and just a fun night of basketball here in Steinhauser Gym. Dave, uh, I'm, I'm ready. Go. I am too. I mean, this is my, my first look at the Rocks this year. Fern Creek in their dark black uniforms trimmed in orange. Rocks are in their home white. Again, the uh, team is led by Dre Vassar. But a lot of lot of hype with Jaden Johnson. Also, I mean, let's let's be honest. There's a lot of guys on this Trinity team. That well, they've got they're going to be playing at the next level. Yeah, they've got four guys averaging double figures and one really close. Uh, Dre Vassar's averaging 18 and almost 19 a game. Set and ready to go as Edmonds going to jump center and Rocks get the tip. They will have the first possession. Dre Vassar gets it into the front court. Looks like Fern Creek opened up in a pressure 3-2 zone, and Jaden Johnson takes the baseline and gets the first bucket of the night. Good start. Trinity has played man-to-man -man defense pretty much exclusively in their first four games. I don't know if they've done had a lick of zone defense played yet this season. They'll play some just to get some practice, but they're, they're a man-to-man -man team. JoJo Lawson gets the five-second count, and that's the first turnover. It's going to go the Rock's way. Burn Creek will settle in and play half-court defense. Rock's going to work the perimeter. Good in pass by Lawson into Edmonds. Now Lawson's going to take a three from the right wing. Good. Rock's taking an early 5 nothing lead. Lawson guarding Glover. Burn Creek kind of running a weave out front. Trying to get a pick set, and now they're going to call the game's first foul. It's going to go against Trinity. Wayne, you want to explain the new uh, foul rule this year? <laughs> well, this year in high school, as we get the game's first substitute, incidentally, Caden Martin checking in for Fern Creek. Um, each quarter, you have four fouls to give, and then on the fifth, you will shoot two and it resets every quarter as the long three is no good by Fern Creek. Lawson with the rebound, Rock's going the other way. So there's no more one and ones in high school basketball. No more one and ones period. Alex Johnson drives baseline and loses the basketball. Tigers going the other way, that's Boston leading the break. He gets it down low, no good as it's too hard off the glass by Martin. Trinity now in the other direction, Lawson for three again. Wow. <laughs> Josiah Lawson with a pair of threes here early in this contest. Rocks have an eight nothing lead. We've just played about a minute and a half. We're gonna keep it right here, Dave. Um, like what you see so far. Love what I see so far. Uh, Rocks in transition, hitting the three right there. Uh, doing a great job defensively. Again, that's the key to Mike's teams. If his, if he gets his teams to play good defense, and it looks like they've got the offense. Uh, they're gonna be hard to stop. And Josiah Lawson with six of Trinity's eight points early on a pair of threes. We've only played about a minute and a half, and so far it's been all Trinity. That's, let's keep it that way. 
Looks like the Rocks are going to settle into half-court defense. So, I mean, when you say there's no more one-on-ones in all of basketball, it's not, college not just team? high school. Not, it's, just there's high none school. in high school. Right. Eight nothing early. As Lawson picks up Boston at midcourt. Glover's going to pull up from the free throw line. No good. Battle for the rebound. Edmonds comes down with it. He gets it to Vassar. Rocks on the run. Oh, nice Alex look. Johnson, long pass cross court to Jaden Johnson. Puts it up. No good. He's going to go to the line for a pair, though, I believe. Foul's going to go against Glover. His first team's first of the quarter. Jaden's averaging 10 points a game for Trinity this season so far. Jaden's first free throw is good. Second free throw for Jaden Johnson is good. So Lawson has six, Johnson has four, and thus Trinity has 10. They lead at 10 nothing. Still early in this basketball game. Josiah Lawson, who already got a five-second count earlier, playing some pressure defense, and now Fern Creek's first bucket is Taj Lawson from the free throw line. Gets the goose egg off the board and rocks quickly the other way. Edmonds down low. What? They're going to say the he got fouled on the floor. That one's going to go against Jaden Adams. His first Long three for the oh Lawson had a glass. bank from the right corner. Lawson banked it in. I don't know that that I don't know how that happened. Well, hey. <laughs> when it rains, it pours, and he's uh, poured in three threes already here. And we haven't even played the first half of the first quarter. Errant dribbling by the Tigers is another turnover. Okay, you watch Coach Miles for Fern Creek. He works that sideline pretty hard. Lawson from the right side gets it down into Edmonds. Now to Vassar, top of the key. He's going to drive. They're going to say he got fouled on the floor. It was on the pass. So now I think that's three on Fern Creek. The foul is on Todd Boston, number two. His first team third. We might see that new free throw rule go into effect pretty quickly. 5-11 to go here in the opening quarter. Jerry Vassar passes up on the three. Boy, thought he got fouled. No call. He on the floor. That's the second foul on Jaden Adams. That's four team fouls already. Rocks will be shooting two from this point forward. We still have 5.05 to go exactly. here in the first. A.J. Johnson to inbounds. Nice. Gets it to... Jaden Johnson, and it's good. Boy, they're really executing well. Rocks lead it 15-2. to two. Oh, oh, that oh that's got to be offensive. Offensive call. It's going to go against Britton Clark, but that'll be a player control foul. That happens when you don't like the defense. Let I mean, me tell you something. You know, that's about as hard as you can push. Them, that's yeah. about as hard as you can push off on somebody offensively. Right, like, get away from me. <laughs> Quit guarding me. Yeah, that's right. Technical foul on Ellis Miles. Oh, no. And I tell you, that's a bad technical foul because yeah. that was an obvious offensive. I mean, that was an ob he hasn't had a He hasn't had a call, a bad call go against him yet. I think it's just he's frustrated down 15 2. Jaden Johnson with the free throws. First one, good. Nice. Free throw number two is good. Nothing but net. So Jaden Johnson has eight. Josiah Lawson has nine. And that basically is Trinity's 17 points. They lead it 17 right. to two. 4.50 to play here in the opening quarter. Johnson tries to get it into Edmonds. Lance Chandler, who checked in, was able to pick it up. Lance Chandler picks up his dribble, needs some help. Now Johnson for three, no good. Battle for the rebound. Dre Vassar, I thought, had it. They're going to say that it's 
Yeah, it's Trinity yeah, Ball. It's Trinity Ball. It was off of Brit uh, Brittany Clark. Rocco Pfeiffer checking in for the Rocks. Love that name. Chandler gets double teamed out front. Now A.J. Johnson, nice pass down oh. low to Rocco Pfeiffer. Back out to Chandler. Boy, the Rocks are moving the ball well. Pfeiffer for three from the corner, no good. Britain going the other way. And Tigers throw it away. It away. another turnover. It's at least three. They look shell-shocked right now. I don't have the exact turnovers, but it, like I say, it's at least three, maybe four for the Tigers. And we haven't even gotten to the midpoint of quarter number one. We Se need Ernie back with us, man. 17 to two. God rest his soul. Lance Chandler for three. Good. Don't leave me open. Wow. Rocks are rolling, folks. 20 to two. As Dre Vassar comes up with the steal, gives it up to Pfeiffer. Pfeiffer, good. Good body control. This one has gotten out of hand early, 22 to two. Uh-oh. And Fern Creek gives it up again. That's at least five turnovers. Pfeiffer for another bucket. When's the last time you've seen a Rock team go up 24 to two against anybody? It's been a long time. This is a good basketball team. Clark gives it to Boston. He'll try three, good. Point goal, Boston. Taj Boston has all of Fern Creek's points as the Rocks lead it 24 to 5. Three minutes to go in the first. A.J. Johnson for three, also good. A.J. says, don't leave me open. They're going to call a foul on, on the floor. Trinity. It's going to be the, first team second. the second team. I didn't get the first team foul for Trinity. I'm not sure who that was. I didn't have it. Fern Creek inbounding under their own goal. Clark drives. Good. Who was that? That was uh, Britton Clark. Clark, thank you. 27-7 rocks. Two and a half minutes to go here in the first. A.J. Johnson in the right corner. He'll dribble. Tries to take his man down low. Puts it up and no good. Nice strong rebound for the Tigers by Shahid. <laughs> Another long three. This one's good by Jordan Brown. And it's going to be a 30-second timeout for Trinity. So 27 to 10. Rocks lead at 2.18 to go here in the opening uh, quarter. And... And what can you say? They're, well, they're, they're solid. What Mike called the timeout for us, and hey, look, just because we got a nice lead, let's not get sloppy with the basketball. Well, and the you Rocks know? did give up five points there kind of quickly. Right. But they're doing, they're playing very well right now. Josiah Lawson with nine, Jaden Johnson with eight, Chandler Pfeiffer and A.J. Johnson all in the scoring column as well. And like I say, we've still got over two minutes to go in the first quarter. Now, the second quarter, the fouls start over. Is that right? The fouls start over. Every the quarter. Absolutely. Uh, incidentally, we, I think I made mention in the coach's comments with uh, Coach Zabo, Dre Vaster had 40 points in a game earlier this year. Wow. And is yet to get into the scorebook tonight. <laughs> <laughs> Fern Creek with some full court pressure as Avery, Fra Avery Frazier checks in for the Rocks. It's Frazier, Pfeiffer, Chandler, Edmonds, and Vassar for Trinity out there right now. Get it down low to Edmonds. And they're going to say they, that, oh, that Edmonds drug his pivot foot. Well, you know, you got a referee right underneath the basket. He's two feet away from him. Doesn't make the call. The guy at half court makes the call. That just, I, I, that bugs me. I guess he had a better view. <laughs> Rock staying in that man-to-man -man defense. They switch up a little bit out of it. Nope. This three is no good. Long re good good rebound board. by Dre Vassar. Wow. Vassar gets it to Frazier. Frazier kicks it to Pfeiffer. He'll take a three from the left corner. No good. Rebound going Fern Creek's way. That's Adams. They'll kick it to Clark. He'll take a three. No good. Rebound Frazier. No. Frazier throws the ball away, though. That 
Oh, ill-advised pass. Yeah, it was a little too far away. And a foul. Oh, they're going to get the bucket and the foul, I believe. I think so, too. So that's going to be the first foul tonight on Frazier. It was Clark that hit that shot, correct? Britton Clark going to go to the line to try to complete the three-point play. Free throw is up. No good. And I tell you, Dre Vassar almost went into the lane early. Yeah. Fern Creek with some pressure defense. Chandler gets a pass down low to Edmonds. And Edmonds. That's got to be a foul. They're going to say, I think it's going to be on the floor, but he's going to go to the line for two. Foul's going to go against Naj Shahid. And again, from this point on, for the final minute eight, Rocks will be shooting two with every foul. So Edmonds. First free throw is good. You know, Julius handles himself well in the paint. I'm, I'm impressed with him. LJ Morris checking back into the game for the Tigers. As Julius Edmonds' second free throw forthcoming. It's up. Also good. Rocks lead at 29 to 12. A little over a minute to go here in the opening quarter. And already six Rocks are in the scoring column. Trinity still in a man-to-man -man defense. Yeah, they were trying to recognize it. Farn Creek didn't recognize what they were in. Jaden Walker's checked in for the Tigers as well. Now Clark with it out front. Clark guarded by Vassar. Tries to drive. Might have drug his pivot, but no call. That, ooh, almost. I think it might have been partially blocked. Long pass ahead to Dre Vassar, who lays it in for the easy yeah. bucket. And just That's like first that, two. Uh, just like that, there are seven rocks in the scoring column. See if Fern Creek wants to play for the final shot. 20 seconds to go here in the opening quarter. Clark on the dribble, five seconds, four pulls up, no good. Fern Creek oh, going to lose it out of bounds. Ball. Yeah, but there's only two tenths of a yeah. second left. I think you can only tip it in with two with point two, can you? All right, just pick it up. Here we go. So we'll head to the second quarter. Rocks leading at 31 to 12. We'll be back in 60 seconds. This is Trinity High School basketball on the Trinity High School YouTube channel.
Eight rocks have scored here in the first half, and we haven't even gotten to the midpoint of the second quarter. By comparison, only three Tigers have gotten into the scores book. Burn Creek trying to do something to this Trinity man-to-man -man defense as the Rocks almost create another turnover. It was almost like a volleyball block for Dre Vassar. Trinity's very active with their feet and their hands on defense. And it's really, at, to this point in the game, it's really frustrated the Tigers. Vassar guarding Lucas Bolin, who's checked in. Now they switch up. It's Vassar on Boston. Boston pulls up. No good. Short. Jaden Johnson with the rebound. And Rock's going the other way. Avery Frazier passes nice on a three move. and tries to get it down low to Edmonds. What a boy. The Rocks are really passing the ball. Well, down low to Edmonds. And he'll lay it up for right the easy bucket. down. I'm telling you what. You can almost give four assists to like four different Rocks on that play. It right. seems like they... 45 to 12. The Rocks have almost hit the 50 mark, and we still have three and a half minutes to go here in the first half. Josiah Lawson into the front court. Top of the key, Edmonds. He'll, no, he's going to take about an 18-footer. Good. Hey. That was a two. That was Edmonds, right? Yep. I think everybody's feeling it for the Rocks you what, tonight. I like this kid. Burn Creek still working on the Trinity man pressure, but the Rocks, Rocks have been playing. I mean, they've been playing good on the offensive side, the defensive they side, have. transition, transition, you name it. Yeah, it's, can't find much fault with them right now. The Rocks do have the margin for the running clock, but we're being told that it's not hey, until the second. Not until the second half, right? So, yeah, the running clock is not in place yet, even though the 35-point margin is 47-12. Now, my question becomes, Dave, what if what if Fern oh. they're going to call Josiah yeah. Lawson with the foul? What if the margin at half is down to like 30. I, yeah. wonder, I wonder if they start the second half with the running clock because it had gotten to 35 or not. I don't like not. the I don't know. clock in basketball. I don't know. I mean, I get it in football. It makes sense. I don't, I don't think it makes sense in basketball. But I don't know what they would do, Wayne, to be honest with you. Might go, at, might go ask the officials All I know is the guys <laughs> on Trinity's bench are licking their chops. Well, we're going to get some playing time. Everybody's going to play tonight, it looks like. Rocks come up with another steal. That's Lawson. He's going to lead the break. He'll give it up to A.J. Johnson out front to Frazier. Now the Rocks will work some offense. I think that's going to go against Fern Creek. Five, yeah, number five. Jaden Adams, it's his third. The Adams, number five, his third Rocco Pfeiffer back in the game for the Rocks. A.J. Johnson to inbound. Now Jaden Johnson for three. Wow. Good. I think everybody's feeling it tonight. That's 11 points for Jaden Johnson. He is tied with Josiah Lawson for the team lead tonight. 50 to 12, minute 50 to go here in the first half as the Rocks commit a foul. That's going to go against Jaden Johnson. It's just his first, though. Oh. Did they say that's his third? Yes. Oh, wow. I, I did not have him marked. It. That must have been the one I missed early. I, okay. early, I gu guarantee you that. Yeah, that surprised me, too. <laughs> oh, here we He's go. He's going to get the steal. Loses the basketball. Gives it up to JoJo... Lawson, and Lawson now loses it. Burn Creek going the other way. That's going to be a travel. Fifty-two 
50 to 12, minute and a half left in the first half. <laughs> And another three by Johnson. This one's no good. Jaden Johnson now going to whip it around the perimeter. A.J. Johnson drives, tries to kick at the Pfeiffer. No hurry. There we go. Now A.J. Johnson drives and gets the bucket. Count it. I think this is going to be a bucket and a foul, but the officials are talking about it. So AJ Johnson going to get to try to convert the traditional three-point play. I tell you, I'm looking at my score sheet, Dave, and I'm in shock. I, I, I'm, I hope I didn't miss something. We right. got 52 points, and we still got some time left. Make it 53. We still got some time left in the first half. I like to see what we're shooting for the first half. Well, we're shooting well. Well. <laughs> Uh-oh. Tigers almost lose the basketball. Johnson guarding Glover. Glover, the runner, no good. Another rebound. I bet Jaden Johnson has close to 10 rebounds tonight. Josiah Lawson going to kick it right side to Pfeiffer. Forty seconds left here in the first half. Edmonds down low, gets double teamed. Rocks almost throw it away. Nice pass down. Take it up, Edmonds. Edmonds. Edmonds takes it up strong, and I like that young man. He's a good kid too. He handles himself so well on the floor. First foul on L.J. Morris for the Tigers. Now both, both teams with four fouls. Can we, st can we stay we've perfect at the free throw line? That's yeah, the question. We've only got 24 seconds left, but any more fouls will be two shots for either team. Edmonds free throw is up and good. Yeah, this second half is going to be played with a running clock, so... It'd be an early night here at Steinhauser yeah. Gym as the second free throw is also good. Money. Eleven for eleven, is that what you got us at? That's what I've got. Free throws. Fern Creek probably gonna try to take the last shot with just about ten seconds left. If they can get it off. Glover guarded by Lawson. Now they launch an NBA three that goes air ball as time expires. <laughs> Folks, if you're a Trinity High School basketball fan, you got to be a happy camper at this time. <laughs> 55 to 12, Rocks lead it over Fern Creek at the half. We'll take a break, come back to talk about it. You are following Trinity High School basketball on the Trinity YouTube channel. September 8th, 2023, marked Trinity's 70th birthday. On that date in 1953, Holy Trinity High School had its first day of school, establishing a legacy of academic and cultural achievement. Remembering those days and how basic they were and how still how influential they were, we didn't know we were a small school. We didn't know we were just two classes. We knew we were Trinity and that was it. And there was as much spirit about it all then as there is now. Mark and Laura Hatcher understood their boys' unique differences and trusted that Trinity's personalized approach would allow each of their triplets to achieve individual greatness. We're very similar. Um, we played the same sports, grew up together, lived in the same house for a very long 18 years. But going to Trinity, it sets all three of us apart. Um, our teachers set us up, looked at us as our own person, and we weren't grouped together, um, and it, that was capitalized on. And I think Trinity did a, a very good job 
of making sure each one of us had our own path. Through demanding critical thinking, encouraging innovation, and teaching students how to think through complex challenges, STEM prepares them to be successful in an ever-changing world. In our STEM lab, students are granted unprecedented access to cutting edge equipment. Harnessing the power of our 3D printers, laser or water jet cutters, and CNC machine, students transform their designs into tangible prototypes. These components seamlessly come together to form intricate projects, ranging from planetary gearbox assemblies to static testing truss structures, and even assembly line models capable of sorting items based on appearance. In this stimulating environment, students not only master the art of incorporating electronics, but also explore the realm of machine learning and AI strategies to enhance the functionality and innovation of their projects. Each year, Trinity students participate in a 10-day science expedition in Costa Rica, conducting college-level research while taking advantage of the immense biodiversity in the tropical rainforest. Trinity is a partner in the world's only tropical research campus dedicated to secondary education. Seeds of change and visiting professors prepare students for STEM-related careers. Students are exposed to microbiology techniques, experimental design, statistical analysis, and collaboration and teamwork. Often, students are doing postgraduate level field research. Trinity's culture of family helped Donovan Sims develop the resiliency needed to pursue a career in the Louisville Fire Department. Now, as captain, He's passing these life lessons on to others. Working through these challenges at Trinity had a direct impact on my professional career today. When I first attempted to try for the Louisville Fire Department, I was denied twice. Because of the lessons and the level of resiliency that I developed at Trinity, I was able to push through those early setbacks and work my way onto the department. Now I stand here today as a captain of the Louisville Fire Department. I'm able to pass these life lessons that I learned at Trinity to my professionals and the trainees that I trained today. For the last 70 years, a simple yet powerful phrase has echoed on this campus. For all the great memories Trinity has provided alumni since 1957, it's easy for us to say, Trinity forever. You can be great at Trinity. Your path to greatness starts with your first step in our doors. From opening day orientation to graduation night, the Trinity experience is unlike any other. Find your unique path and begin defining who you'll become by expanding on the academics and the athletics you enjoy the most. And discover a new interest through our large variety of activities and extracurriculars. Plus, while you are finding your passions, Trinity's unique house system helps develop a sense of brotherhood and introduces you to lifelong friends. Develop strong values with like-minded individuals that will prepare you for your future. Let our strong community and engaging teachers help you to find the greatness within yourself. Ready to start your journey? We provide you a place to be great so that later in life, you can be anything. Welcome to Trinity.
Welcome back, everyone, to Trinity High School Basketball. We're at the half. Rocks lead it 55-12 to 12 over Fern Creek. And uh, Dave Aberly was telling me during that, right after we went to break, Fern Creek was held scoreless in the second quarter. Um, the Rocks were up 31-12 at the end of one and 55-12 to 12 at the half. So uh, Fern Creek did not score in the second quarter quarter that's uh that's a pretty amazing stat for any level of, of high school basketball uh real quickly the point totals for fern creek uh jordan brown with three Britton clark with four and taj boston with five and that was it dave i could have done that you know <laughs> i could have shot from here at the press table and maybe got that many. right uh let's talk about uh Trin i'll let you go ahead and go over the trinity point totals sure uh it's spread out man we got a lot of guys in the scoring column uh uh, Josiah Lawson with 11 and Jaden Johnson with 11 led the Rocks in the first half. Uh, then we had uh, Dre Vasser, nine points. Uh, Julius Edmonds with eight. Uh, A.J. Johnson with six. Uh, let's see here. I'm missing a couple people. Rocco Pfeiffer with four. Rocco Pfeiffer with four. Lance Chandler with three. And Avery Frazier with three. So everybody that saw the floor for the Rocks got, into the, saw action got into the scoring column. There were uh, eight rocks that uh, played and eight rocks scored. Oh, and 11 for 11 from the free throw line. I'm telling you, it was just a solid, solid half so of what basketball. So what do you say to your team at halftime? Uh, uh, what's, uh, well, if you're Trinity. First of all, you say, um, you know, good job and, and, and let's let get out up. there and finish. But it, it, it's almost an impossibility for a team to come back because it's going to be the running clock in the second half. So, you know, out of bounds. Uh, you're, the, the clock's going to continue to run right. for the and, and with only eight minute quarters, you know, sixteen minutes. I, yeah, it's going to be a quick half. It, it's going to be a very quick half. Yeah, but uh, again, Rocks lead it by forty three. Unbelievable. I mean, that's just. I, I, I'm, I think kinda, I'm dumbfounded. I'm honestly, shell shocked. You know, I think I think Fern Creek shell shocked. I think Fern Creek shell shocked too because they are not a bad basketball. They're team. They're not, and. They were made to look bad well, by the Rocks in the first half. We've totally taken away their inside game. They have, I don't think they've got two points in the paint. Well, I tell you, this uh, this Fern Creek team will will get better. I mean, I, yeah. like I say, as you they pass the look test, and you know Fern Creek is always solid. But this, oh, they've they got just, They just ran into a buzz. They ran into. We're doing everything right tonight. Well, we're going to go ahead and uh, actually we're going to just keep it right here, I believe, because we only got thirty seconds left on the countdown clock. It'll be interesting to see. Uh, I got to believe everybody on both teams is going to get to play tonight because uh, that's what I said. Those last four or five guys on the bench are licking their chops, man. It is. And we're uh, going to get some PT tonight. It's going to be a quick half with the running clock, and I believe it's going to be Trinity basketball to start the second half. Let's see if the Rocks go ahead and run their starters out to begin the third quarter. It looks like for Fern Creek, they're going to have a few different faces out there. They got. Morris and Clark, but uh, Bolin will start the second half. Also Glover and Boston, so four of their five starters. Trinity is going to run the starting lineup out there. Both Johnsons, Edmonds, uh, Lawson, and uh, Vassar. Fern Creek trying to extend the defense a little bit. Long. Well, they're not going to quit. They're going to fight. Vassar picks up his dribble, needs some help. Boy, that's a long cross-court pass. Johnson drives the baseline. And you step out of bounds? I think he did. I'll tell you, Coach Zabo is still coaching hard here early in the third. Up, hey, by, up it, by 43. The, the season's young. you got to coach him hard right now. Rocks are kind of in a one... A little one three one zone. Yeah, it's uh, you. You talked about it. you haven't seen them play zone this year. Take a good look right now. Well, now's the time to do it when you're up by forty three. Right. Get, get a little practice in. Exactly. One three one zone. Jojo Lawson out front. Edmonds in the middle. Now it looks like they've switched back into a man. Boy, they are really switching up the defenses. I'm just so impressed with how they're playing the D tonight. I'm just as impressed at the O. <laughs> oh, yeah, I am too. But, I mean, it all starts with the D on, on Mike's team. 
I, say, I believe Fern Creek is just trying to run their offense to keep the Rocks from scoring 100 tonight. They got another technical? What? No, it's going to be a 30-second timeout oh, time for Fern Creek. They've uh, worked a minute and a half off of the third quarter clock, and no one has uh, changed the scoreboard yet here in quarter number three, 55 to 12. It looks like Fern Creek is going to have some wholesale substitutes. Four, five, 10, 15, and 34. That's Brown, Adams, Walker, Martin, and Brown. He put, he put five <laughs> new people. I don't know. He must not like what he was seeing by his you offense. Know, if, you, if you're not going to get it done for me, I got five more on the bench that'll get it done. That will do what I'm telling them to do. Trinity did not make a substitute. Did not make a substitution. Three timeouts left now for Fern Creek the rest of the way. Start the clock. There you go. Brown with the basketball. He's guarded by A.J. Johnson. Now right side to Walker. Walker needs some help. Rocks almost come up with the uh, turnover, but ball trickles out of bounds. Fern Creek will keep it under their own goal. I know I've talked a lot about Julius Edmonds tonight, but watch him on defense, how he helps. I mean, he does such a great job of coming over and helping anytime a guy tries to penetrate. Jaden Johnson guarding Brown. They're going to call Josiah Lawson for a touch foul there. Fern Creek is going at least 12 minutes without scoring. It's a long time, Dave. I mean, I don't think they scored much at the end of the first quarter. And a long three, no good. Rebound, Jaden Johnson. Long pass up to uh, Dave Astor goes out of bounds. Somehow Trinity's going to maintain we possession. We lucked out there, to be honest with you. Getting the message that Chick-fil-A sandwiches on sale at the concession stand. Let's see if uh, some people start to trickle out there. Oh, well, Dave might trickle out there. I'll keep your seat warm if you need to go get a sandwich. <laughs> oh, the right wanna... corner, Josiah Lawson. I good. don't want to miss any of this. JoJo Lawson picked up where he left off at the beginning of the third quarter with a three. Gives him 14 on the night to lead the Rocks. Rocks switching up on that man-to-man -man defense. Burnt Creek, they haven't even been able to penetrate inside the no. three-point line. That's some quality high school man-to-man -man defense right there. Well, they've got to try something different. I'll be honest, I think they're just happy to not let the Rocks get 100 on them. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, I'm They're playing serious. defense with their offense right now. There's a foul, but the clock continues to run. Alex Johnson, number 13. His first team yeah, they're not going to have a chance no. to get to 100 tonight. Now, who's uh, Martin, right? Pair of, shot, pair of free throws for Caden Martin. They that finally the broke it. First point for Fern Creek since somewhere late in the first quarter. First quarter, yeah. And we're at the 338 mark of the third quarter. Second free throw for Martin is good. 58 to 14, Rocks lead it. As Lance Chandler and Rocco Pfeiffer checked in for the Rocks, so it's Frazier, Chandler, Pfeiffer, A.J. Johnson, and Edmonds. We're seeing a little 1-2-2 two, two here. A little 1-2-2 two, two zone defense by Fern Creek. Rocks don't seem to be too phased. Still moving, well, the, moving ball the ball so well. well. Nice. nice pass from Edmonds to Johnson. Nice interior passing, yeah. 
A.J. Johnson lays it in for the easy bucket, gives Julius Edmonds the assist. It's gonna be a touch foul away from the ball, or away from the basket. I think you're gonna see a lot of that with those calls this half. It's gonna go against Alex Johnson. Clock continues to run because of the large margin, 60 to 14. Large marge. From the free throw line, that's Caden Martin. That's again. Martin, yeah. And just like that, he's got four points. Sure does. Pfeiffer passes on a three, he ah. tries to get it down low to Edmonds, but the turnover. Avery Frazier does well to get back and break that up. Battle for the rebound and Pfeiffer. <laughs> well, nice try. He got it back to A.J. Johnson, but A.J. Johnson was out of bounds. He too. was standing out of bounds, yeah. It is odd when you know the ball's out of bounds, the whistle blows, and the clock just continues. I know. <laughs> Yep. That's going to go against Lance Chandler. That'll be a pair of free throws for the Tigers as Jaden Johnson waits to check back in. Say if Martin can knock Martin's. this down, he'll be the leading scorer for yeah. Burn Creek. First one, good. Rolls it in. In the game for Trinity, number 11, Jaden Johnson, replacing number 13, Alex Johnson. Second free throw for Caden Martin. Short rebound to Edmund. Good board. Caden Martin is tied with Taj Boston for high score for Fern Creek now with five. Good ball. Rocco movement. Pfeiffer from the right corner. No good. Rebound, Jaden Johnson. Up and good. All right, Jaden. Give Jaden Johnson 13 for the night. 62 to 17 as we go under a minute to play here in the third quarter. Long three does not catch rim. Well, look up, the son. Rocks almost throw it away, and they do. Always run down court and look where the ball's at. Rocco Pfeiffer did not have eyes in the back of his head, and that's going to be a Trinity turnover. <coughs> Under 30 seconds to go here in the third. Boy, that oh, looked like oh, a clean oh. block for Avery Frazier, but they're going to say he got him with the body. He got him with the hand on the hip, I think. But the block, block itself was clean. Guess who's at the line, Wayne? Well, it's Caden Martin again. He's gonna, he wants to be the leading scorer for the creek. And now the clock did stop for the free throws. First one is good. Second free throw, no good. Rebound Edmonds. And he'll get it up to Chandler. Rocks have about five seconds. Frazier passes on a three. Now take a two, no good. And <laughs> Julius Edmonds thought he was going to get the follow, but was not able to. Yeah. So 62 to 18. And we'll go ahead and keep it right here, Dave. Uh, basically, the Rocks only outscored Fern Creek 7 to 6 in that quarter. Yeah. So, well, uh, I was and, glad to see Fern Creek get on the board in well, the third quarter. And to be honest, I think that's all their uh, coach wanted out of them was, hey, just show that you can compete for a spell. You right. Know? I mean, because you're not going to come back and win. But at least show Don't that you, quit. Can, you belong. Right. Exactly. And they did. And, you know, he he brought some new guys in, some fresh fresh faces, and they did okay. Well, some of their starters are checking back in now. Noah Glover, Taj Boston back in there, as well as Naz Shahid and LJ Morris. But they will leave Caden Martin out there. Again, he's the leading scorer. He deserves to be out there. 
Let's see what the Rocks will bring in to quarter number four. It'll be Fern Creek ball to begin the fourth, and again we have the running clock the rest of the way, 62 to 18. Hey, Mike Zabo really coaching him up still. Taking a long time getting out of the huddle. So it'll be Frazier, He's always teaching over there. Frazier, Chandler, uh, Jaden Johnson, Edmonds, and Rocco Pfeiffer for the Rocks. Turn around, no oh. good for Glover. Battle for the rebound, and Jaden Johnson comes down with it. He'll bring it up himself. Needs some help, picks up his dribble. Long cross-court pass. Down low to Edmonds. Edmonds up strong, good. Count it. It's his first bucket of the second half, and he'll go to the line to try to complete the three-point play. Team's first of the fourth quarter. 55. Line Julius Edmonds. Fifth free throw tonight. Is up and good. Rolls it in. Gives him 11 for the night. He's 5 of 5 from the free throw line on top of Rocks that. Rocks are perfect, baby. Glover drives, almost loses it. Good job by Boland to pick it up, and Boland gets the bucket. I was told by Lee Handel, our official scorer, that at one point tonight, and the Rocks do have a turnover there, the Rocks outscored Fern Creek 31 to nothing. They went on a 31-point run. Wow. It's a whole lot of high school That's, basketball points. That doesn't happen very often. Glover for three, good. That's his uh, first points of the evening. Glover has like a, a long, tight, like fitting compression thing on his right leg on but his, not his left That's on kind his of, right wrist yeah no on his leg leg oh, his okay. whole entire leg he's got something on his right arm too Pfeiffer to inbound under the basket for the Rocks they give it to Frazier long cross court pass to Jaden Johnson for three no good Frazier with the rebound he's a scrapper Lance Chandler for three, top of the key, no good. Look at Frazier going in there, mixing it up again. Battle for the rebound. Fern Creek comes down with it. Long three, no good. Rebound to ah. Edmonds, and he loses the basketball on the floor. Oh. And now Frazier's going to get called for another foul, I believe. Or might yeah, be he Edmonds. reached in. That's a good call. That's his fourth. His fourth. He's first of the fourth quarter. AJ. AJ Johnson into the game as Edmonds will get a breather. Five minutes to play in this one is boom. Another three there for Glover gives him six on the night. Yeah, that's his second three. Lance Chandler guarded out front. He's going to drive the lane, take it all the nice. way himself. Lance Chandler with his first bucket of the second half. 67-26 now, Rocks. Pulling up from the free throw line is Boston. That's good. And he becomes the leading scorer for Fern Creek again. Jaden Johnson with it from the right side. Good. Was that Jaden? That was Jaden Johnson again, giving him 15 for the night to lead all scores. Oh, 
What's impressive to me, Dave, with four minutes left in the basketball game, uh -huh. leading by 41, the Rocks are still playing aggressive defense. Yeah, they're not stopping the D. And I'd say sure. Avery Frazier just fouled out. Is that five? So Dre Vassar going to check in and uh, Avery got his money's worth tonight. Avery Frazier played hard. Rocco played Fife, hard. Rocco Pfeiffer heading to the bench as well. So Vassar and Lawson checking in. As Boston has a pair of free throws coming. First one, good. Second free throw is good. So Boston is a point shy of double digits for Fern Creek. About three and a half left here, Wayne. Vassar, long three, good. Felt that. Gets Vassar into double figures with 12 for the night. You know, the Rocks are being outscored 18 to 17 here in the second half. Quit it. <laughs> Quit it. Only you and Robert Sampson would have picked that up. Yep. It is what it is. That's right. That's why you're the brains of this team, brother. Three is an air ball for Noah Glover. Glover's going to head to the uh, Fern Creek bench as, oh, got a handful of subs here. They got seven players on the court, and they need to get rid of two of them. You know, for a decent crowd tonight, this gym is so quiet. It's hard to get real fired up when you're up. I know. You know I mean, you can hear the players point. talking out on the court. Chandler brings it in the front court for the Rocks. Two minutes to go in this one. Jaden Johnson from the free throw line, no good. Nice rebound there by... Nas Shahid, coast to coast for Lucas Bolin. Long three for Lawson, it's good. Chojo? Josiah Lawson with his fifth three of the night. Now he leads all Trinity scores, leads all scores on the, in the uh, basketball in game. In the contest. 17. And another bucket for Bolin. Coach Sabo's, Six points this quarter. Coach Sabo still wants Trinity to be playing some defense. A.J. Johnson for three. Good. A.J. How many threes is that for Trinity tonight? A lot. A lot One, of them. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. I got twelve. Twelve? That's good night's work. I think they're going to call A.J. Johnson for a foul there. It's like Henry Nash going to get into the game for the Rocks. Final 40 seconds. Burn Creek almost turned it over. Well, they're going to call a reach in there. They're going to call that on Nash, so he'll get into the book. He's in the book. Say it again, Dave. His dad, his father, Nash's father, played center for me back in the day. He was a hard-nosed young man. A couple of free throws for Jordan Brown. First one's good. Good free throw shooting by both teams tonight. Round second attempt, also good. 
Yeah, eight for ten for uh, Fern Creek and two, four. We're perfect. Six, eight, ten, twelve for twelve for the Rocks. Just hold the ball now. Trini's going to let the final this ten be seconds it. roll off of the clock. And the Rocks are going to bring home the victory here at Steinhauser Gym. 78 to 36 over Fern Creek in a game that uh, was just absolutely positively never in doubt. From the get-go. From the get-go. We'll take a quick break, be back with the final point totals and whatnot. Again, your final score, Trinity 78, Fern Creek 36. You are following Trinity. For the last 70 years, a simple yet powerful phrase has echoed on this campus. Because of the experience we've had at Trinity. Because of all the love shown to us by the Trinity family. Because of the great education and preparation I received. Because of the great experience our families had at Trinity. Because of the great STEM opportunities we were able to provide our students. Because of the great preparation and well-rounded experience our three boys have received at Trinity. Because of the great opportunities provided to us by Trinity. Because of the experiences and powerful life lessons I learned at Trinity. It's easy for us to say, Trinity forever. Wayne Krause and Dave Aberly here in the post game. Rocks win at 78 to 36 over Fern Creek in a game that uh, Trinity actually led 55 to 12 at halftime. Uh, Fern Creek did not score in the second quarter. I mean, this was just Trinity, Trinity, and more Trinity. You told Dave. me that Trinity went on a 31 to nothing, to nothing run, run. For, on, on at one stretch there. It was right. uh, it was just a, 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 a heck of a display by the Rocks. Uh, let's go over the final point totals. Uh, do you have them? I've got them. Okay, you're go. ready. Trinity had one, two, three, four, five guys in double figures tonight, led by Josiah Lawson with 17. Yeah, I'm, I'm telling you right now, I got four guys in double figures, so I'm going to see where uh, well, we don't agree. Go ahead. Okay, you're right. Jaden Johnson with 15. Uh, let's see here. We have. Uh, I got Dre Vasser. Dre Vasser with 12. Let me take it over here, Dave. Okay. Julius Edmonds with 11. 11. Uh, Alex Johnson had nine. Uh, Lance Chandler with five. Rocco Pfeiffer with four. And Avery Frazier with three. And that's what I had Alex with 11. Two threes, oh. two twos, and a free okay. throw. Then I missed. There we go. I missed. You're, you, you were right. Okay. Um, what is that? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight guys. What did you say, five of them in double figures? One, I mean, two, three, four. I have five in double figures. Right, and and eight guys in the scoring column. Right. I mean, that's just, that is, you know, you, you weren't relying on any one person. You weren't relying on any two or three people. I mean, no. everybody was involved. And they were all playing unselfishly. I mean, you know, nobody forced any shots. It was just, it came, it came easy to them tonight. And for uh, Fern Creek, uh, they were led by Taj Boston. He had nine. Uh, six apiece for Noah Glover and Caden Martin. Martin's all in the second half. Also six for Lucas Bolin, Bolin. all in the second half. Uh, five for Jordan Brown and, and four for Britton Clark. And that's it. And uh, it was, like I say, if you're a Trinity fan, there is nothing to be unhappy about. Um, you know, Coach Zabo was still coaching there late when he gave up a couple easy yeah. baskets, but it's, it is yeah. it is hard to tell a 16-, 17-year-old when you're up by 43 points. Sure is. You know, play even harder defense. <laughs> but uh, uh, the Rocks really got it done tonight. Again, your final, 78 to 36. Not sure when our next YouTube broadcast is going to be, but uh, stay tuned or, I don't know, follow all of Trinity's uh, It'll be social after media. Christmas, right? Well, the first time we'll be on the radio will be after Christmas. We're right. not sure about uh, any of the YouTube or, okay. or any of the um, – uh, we're going to probably do some games on WDRB, right. the WDRB Plus app as well. So, again, just follow Trinity – uh, Twitter and whatnot for all that information. We're going to sign off from Steinhauser Gym. Uh, 78 36, your final. You've been following Trinity High School basketball on the Trinity YouTube channel. Fun start. Good night.